motivation is important, but sometimes I think it's kind of seen as a magic cure. I think the first thing is the only thing that's going to get us out of here is a little bit of inspiration and an awful lot of hard work, right? Nothing's going to replace that. And for companies, for people, for businesses that understand their market and their customer incredibly well, they'll identify ways of providing more and more value to their customer. And I think that's a, maybe that's a good word in which innovation fits. But I think it's old-fashioned hard work, defining better ways to do something that you've always done for a customer, giving customers something that they haven't anticipated, some unexpected good value, so they're going to give you more business. And I think it's old-fashioned values. And the more you can do that, and the more you, you can be creative in that, then definitely that's innovation. But sometimes maybe, you know, I get worried about people kind of throwing the world innovation around. And I think it's seen as kind of a magic solution, which forgets the fact that old-fashioned solutions about great ideas and damn hard work. I think we've got some remarkably innovative companies. If you think of a company, you know, Coram Software recently sold or sold to IBM. Uh, they defined a, a marketplace, provided fantastic solutions and innovated and had customers all around the world. So I think you know, all around us in our midst, there are fantastic, iconic companies that are going out there providing more and more value. But the key thing in order to do that is that you're continually listening to your customer. A customer's needs are changing on a daily basis. And the solution that we had yesterday and the pricing structure that we had may no longer be applicable. And you've got to be finally attuned to that. So you need to be talking to your customers, you need to be understanding what's driving them, and you need to be understanding what alternatives the customer has. And so I think the key thing here is, are we suitably paranoid? Are we out there thinking about the alternatives that the customer may have? Who out there is doing what we used to do in a better fashion? Who's rethinking our business? And I think if we're at that forefront and we're thinking, and many Irish companies are, they will continue to do well. But those that aren't thinking from their customer's point of view will suddenly one day wake up and realize their customers have gone somewhere else. You know, a lot of companies are going through a hard time, right? And people are working incredibly hard. But sometimes you can become so working so hard, you're focusing on the little issues rather than the big issues. And sometimes you can focus on what's wrong rather than what's right. And I think the key question is, what are, what are we all doing, both individually and collectively, to delight our customer? What are we doing? What are we giving them? Are we giving them a reason to come back to us? Have they got something more from us today than they got from us yesterday? Is there a piece of business that a year ago we didn't go after, but today we might? Because it might, uh, first of all, we might need it. Secondly, we might have a, a better trained team that could provide some additional services that we couldn't have done a year ago. And I think we just need to rethink and rethink and rethink. Are there more opportunities out there for, for any one of us as a business to offer something of more value to our customer? And of the stuff that we're currently offering, can we do it better, faster and cheaper so that they can get the same output from us but from less cost to them? Because that's going to make them happy. And in the world today, if you've got happy customers, you're doing okay. If you don't know that you have happy customers, you're likely in trouble because they're probably out there looking at your com competition. And if you know that they're unhappy and you're doing nothing about it, well, you know, that's a death warrant. So I think there's two real reasons. Um, so the first reason is today, anybody who's in business, your customers are in operation 24 hours a day. And so suddenly, uh, internet and internet technology enable you to communicate with your customers 24 by 7. So your customers have needs. They've got questions. You're in a position to engage with them, to assist them, and to, to provide huge elements of support. It's, a, it's an incredibly important support channel 24 by 7. But the second thing comes, we're an island nation. And from that whole situation, the internet enables you to attract customers from parts of the world that you heretofore had not even considered were viable prospects. And so suddenly your marketplace has become greatly enlarged. So in a business today where the most important thing to do is to find sources of revenue, the internet enables you to identify potential targets and then target them in locations that heretofore you haven't considered. So it's hugely important from a sales point of view, augmented from that other point of view from an ongoing service point of view. You simplify the experience. Think about it from a banking point of view. There are so many people today who, who rarely go to a bank branch. But 
or feel comfortable moving money from one account to another online. Think about the time saving that uh, if, if you could basically get your passport online as opposed to have to go somewhere else. If you didn't have to f you know, go to a particular uh, office um, to fill out a form. Think about it, you want to go to the doctor. You, you've got a meeting with the doctor. Every time you go to the doctor, you get asked the same set of questions. Wouldn't it be really interesting if you actually had a little record which then you could link to the doctor's surgery and then maybe they could send you a, a text note to say, hey, doctor, I'll see you in 10 minutes. So rather than being there and waiting for an hour, they call you 10 minutes beforehand and you pop around the corner. So huge time savings, huge productivity gainers for both individuals and for businesses. So you start to put all those together. It, it's a key part of how businesses operate, both to manage their cost structure and to engage with their, their customers in a post-sale support, but to go out there and identify new potential customers and acquire them and grow their business.